Ford. Well, joining us now to answer that question is Sha Wu, senior tech analyst at Stern AG. He's been a tech equity analyst for 15 years and has a neutral rating on HP uh, since the company has been in transition. He joins us here in San Francisco. And with us in New York today is Wired Magazine's New York bureau chief, John Abel. Gentlemen, welcome to Bloomberg West. Uh, John, let's start with you. Your first reaction to this news, Meg Whitman, the new CEO of HP. Well, it's a, it's a net positive in a very sort of bad situation. I'm, I'm a little concerned, though, that the, you, you toss out your CEO and your new CEO says she's going to stay the course. I mean, I'm, I'm not quite clear on what the reason is there, reason for that would be. But she knows the company. She may not be, have been a CEO of an enterprise company, but having been on the board, she, she gets the company. And I think that should tell the street that there's some, there's some continuity here that would uh, be of benefit to HP. Shaw, how about you? Your, your first reaction to this? It's, it's frankly somewhat mixed. Um, you know, on, on the good side, she is a, a capable manager. She has a track record. She grew uh, eBay from a startup to, to a household brand name. Um, and, uh, but the flip side is uh, she doesn't have uh, enterprise experience. And as Aaron mentioned earlier, uh, you know, HP, uh, we estimate, is 20 to 25 percent consumer and then the rest is enterprise, and she doesn't uh, really have experience there. So we'll have to see how that, how that plays out. Now, a big question right now is what's going to happen to the PC business? We did speak to Meg about that on the phone. Take a listen to what she had to say. We're evaluating it. We're going to look at what is in the best interest of shareholders, what is in the best interest of customers, and we will make a decision. And we'll make a decision as fast as we possibly can. Shaw, should they spin off the PC business or not? You know, I, I, I think they should make a definitive decision. I mean, what, one of the issues with this is that now it's in, you know, there isn't a change. It's, it's still in limbo status, you know, until at least the end of the year. And uh, so that creates uncertainty. And as, and as she said on the conference call, you know, it's not like fine, it's not like wine. It, it doesn't age, you know, it's not like wine that ages better over time. So we'll have to see. John, how about you? In terms of strategy, what should be Meg Whitman's first task? Well, I, you know, the, the PC business isn't going away. They still dominate, the, especially the workplace, uh, and HP dominates in, in enterprise. So it's a, it's a kind of an odd, it, you know, it's odd for them to sort of be leaving that business, even though it's a commodity business, because you've got your enterprise contracts uh, set up. But, you know, tablets are the future, and the enterprise is going into tablets as best it can, usually because people bring them and want to use them. And HP has had a recent uh, a problem with that as well. I would say in the longer, the medium to longer term, that should be their focus because that's the future even in the enterprise. Now, one of the interesting things is there are a lot of internal candidates who've been working at HP for years whose, whose names have been floated as potential CEO candidates many times. Dave Donatelli, Ann Livermore, Todd Bradley, all of them executive vice presidents. John, can Meg Whitman get her top lieutenants on her side? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I, I'm not sure how you write the ship of state um, when it's been rocked by so many things in such a short amount of time. Um, there is a, a shock there. There has to be. And people will take a long time, I think, to figure out what, how to react. The good news about Meg Whitman is that she's a known quantity. She's not sort of a, a Bart's coming into Yahoo to shake things up and stuff like that. She, she knows the hallways. So that might calm people long enough for her to be able to come out if messaging is the thing that needs to be done, to get that message and say, look, we're, gonna, we're in this for the long haul. We're going to do it. We're going to do it together and all that stuff. A, a lesser known name probably would not have been able to stabilize as quickly as her name can. Shaw, how about that? I mean, you know, all of these very strong players who are already within the company and who have essentially been passed over. How does Meg Whitman get them on side? I think it frankly remains to be seen, you know, whether they're going to stay on board or not. Uh, we've been passed over a couple times. Um, that, could, that could be an issue. So um, it's going to be, uh, you know, critical for, for Meg to try to, to get them to stay on board. And, and I agree with John, you know, that he, she is the, the one positive. She is a, a well-known person, a well-known brand name. And so that, you know, perhaps that, that, should, that could help. All right. Sha Wu of Stern AG, John Abel of Wired Magazine. Thank you both for joining us here Pleasure. on Bloomberg West.